how do you make sure, how have you made sure, I'm sure an HR department may, maybe does some of this now where you're not quite as directly involved, but the value that you set to make sure that the people you hire actually fit, they're, they're actually the right fit for the ministry. Craig? So hiring is one of the most important things that we're gonna do, and so in our organization, we actually train, in order to be able to be on the interview, you have to be trained to interview. So there's a, there's a full-on training process, and then basically you're certified to be a person who can interview. Then what we always wanna do is we wanna to interview towards certain values. What we value determines what we do. So in our organizations, we wanna say, here are the things we value, and we wanna take our interviews in those directions. And then at the same time, I, if you, like if you were interviewing at our church, would I never do that to you or you would kill me, you know, but we would, you would, you would be in front of three different groups of people, so there's three different sets of eyes on you. Uh, it's a massive process, and if I had more time, I'd kind of go into this, but there's a lot of testing that goes on up front before you're ever in there, so there's personality tests, skill tests, um, questions about kind of your faith. And so when you come in, there's data in front of us and we know kind of what to press on. And then before you go up in front of the next group, we ask, here are the three things we want you to dive in on. Also, I believe bringing the spouse into it is really, really, Absolutely. really important because, you know, a lot of times that's the tipping point where you're really not sure and the spouse makes it, you know, go, well, there's no way after talking to this person or other times going, forget you, we want to hire the spouse, you know. And, and so that's... Uh, that could be really helpful as well. Yeah. Pastor Brian, you want to add there? N not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have a great HR department these days who do a lot of things, but, you know, the truth is bringing the spouse in, I think, is critical because, to be honest, you're employing this one, but you're really bringing them both into your world. And oftentimes you can get somebody and they are so good, but, you know, big struggles at home. And people are always flesh, you know, more, more loyal to uh, flesh and blood than they are to. And so, you know, I just think it's really important to have a look at a relationship and a marriage, especially with key team and key staff, not, maybe not people who are just, you know, in administration and low levels or whatever. And um, apart from that, your answer was genius. <laughs> I'd like to just uh, You ever thought of running back. for president? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> well, I want to piggyback on your answer and say um, what you heard there was um, a great answer of how important it is in the hiring process, but s you might write that off as uh, a pastor of a big church, and I don't want you to do that because if you're just one person and you're about to hire a second person, it's important. Absolutely. If you're about to hire your associate pastor, it's extremely important that you learn how to um, interview people. And when we started Gateway Church, there were some businessmen, Steve sitting down here in the front, second row, Steve Doolin, some other businessmen, and what they, they were like, Robert, the way you hire people to church is so foreign to the way we would hire a person. I mean, gift tests, personality tests, all these things. And we're kind of like, hey, how you doing? You, you love Jesus? Yeah, come on, okay, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, you know. And sometimes it's because we just want somebody, you know, to help. Um, but then it's really difficult to fire them, you know. So if you just help, business people could help you. There's a lot of tools out there of how to conduct interviews. I remember one guy said to me, he said, I've, fi I've interviewed five youth pastors, and I have no clue which one to hire. So I said, well, what are you doing? And he said, well, I bring them in, I show them the church, I tell them the vision of the church, and then I ask them what their vision, I tell them what my vision is for youth, and then I ask them what their vision is. And I said, well, I can tell you what they say. They say that their vision is exactly what you just told them <laughs> because they're all trying to get a job. So do not tell them what your vision is for youth first. Ask them, what is your vision for youth? Don't tell, don't give them any answers. You know, this is not an open book test. Ask them what their vision is. And so just some things like that, this is a very important thing he just said, is interviewing uh, staff is extremely important and it will save you. If any of you have ever had to let someone go, it will save you a lot of trouble if you get the right person up front. If I can add a couple of things too, because this really is important, like you said, Pastor Robert. One of the things in this, I know you guys would agree 100%, 
Anytime you're talking yourself into hiring someone, just wait and trust God, don't do it. And, and you'll get desperate and there'll be somebody available and we've all done this, you know, uh, no hire is better than a bad hire and just remember that. And then in the interview process, one of the things we love to do is just put people in the game and do kind of like action testing. So we're a high feedback culture. In fact, the number one, when, whenever we bring in new staff, we always do a question, questionnaire within the first 90 days. What is the thing that surprised you most about being on the team? The number one answer is I had no idea what the high feedback would be like. And so we, we grow by feedback. And so we'll bring you, like if, if all of you guys were interviewing today, you would actually draw a topic out of a hat and you would have five minutes to prepare a five minute message and then you would give your message and then you'd have to critique each other. And what we do is we find out how well do people give feedback, how well do they receive feedback. If I can't give it or, or receive it, I can't grow as a leader. And so it's a real small tool in order to help people grow. And so little things like that, just put them in the game, have them do real time actions and, uh, and you can see a lot about people.